¿Y cuántos años tiene? 26. 26. And where are you from? I'm from State College, Pennsylvania. Great, great. Well, uh, can you just tell a little bit about your role here, your position here? Okay, well, I'm currently an intern for Global Medical Brigades. Uh, I'm going to be assisting William in running the brigades, uh, just kind of making sure everything stays organized, and just being here mostly for the students, filling in where I'm needed. Okay, um, and what is your background? I am a neurosciences nurse. I work in Seattle at Harborview, and we focus on neurosurgery, neurology, and epilepsy patients. Okay. And what brought you to Global Brigades? I've just always had it in my heart to do this. I always wanted to do it, so this was a wonderful opportunity. And um, what connection do you have with this group of students? Or I guess, like, what's your connection to the group? One of our, one of our volunteers in our units is a student at the University of Washington, and she had a posting in our unit. And I saw it and immediately that day said I'm going. What would you say some of your memorable experiences with the, with the patients or like just interesting things that you think would be kind of interesting to share? Oh yes, well the sheer number of patients and how patient the patients are. And in very difficult conditions. Very hot, with lots of flies. They're very patient, no demands. There was no one leaving abruptly saying I've had it. They, they wait for hours and hours and uh, seem very appreciative of the care and very patient with a lot of students who are learning how to how to become um, nurses and doctors and pharmacists in this profession. As far as comparing it to the United States, like is there any you know large comparisons that you sort of found kind of astonishing coming down or? Just um, many things. <laughs> One is just the organization of supplies, um, the quantity of supplies, the where they're located, up, obtaining them, inventory systems are very different. Um, a to Z. There's just there's so many things it's hard to know where to start. So again, what was really impressive to me, just the sheer number of patients. You can't go quite as deep in, as you might like with your assessments. So you're getting some high level of like the heavy information, okay, where is the pain, instead of drilling down with very detailed assessments. It was hard to not do that, but it's not possible. With so many, you have to keep the flow going, so. What would you say is the most co common thing that you're seeing? Is it the parasites, or is that pretty common as far as like what you've been seeing today and throughout the brigades? Definitely parasites, stomach pain, headaches, a lot of headaches, a lot of back pain. We're ready whenever you are. Ready? No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, so will you state your name first? My name is Hong Yan Chow. Okay, and what's your background? I am a senior at the University of Washington. I'm really interested in international health, and so that's why this got started. And I really wanted everyone to get exposed to going to their own country and doing all this kind of activity. How did you get involved with Global Brigades? Um, with Global Brigades, at first, um, I started with a few friends. Um, with a few friends and I, we started this group. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, I need her. <laughs> this is going to disrupt you guys. Okay. We got a few people coming on, like the officers that you see over here. They're like doing a lot of stuff to get this going. So what is your actual title in the in the club? I'm the president of the club. Okay. Okay. Shoot, I've got like a bug on my side. There is. <laughs> <laughs> I like kept seeing it like going through, sorry. Yeah. It's a really good turnout. We expected um, not that many people, but it's winding down, so I think we're about 200 today. Is it mainly the, the parasites that's the main yeah, issue? Yeah, parasites, and then we provide um, a lot of vitamins for everyone, and then headaches. Headaches. 
Is it all oh, sort of connected? Asthma. Is it connected to the water? Most yeah, of it? it is. But the parasites are like it's so funny because then I was reading the medical, the pharmacy consultation, like reading the um, prescription out to the people and telling them what to take. And so I noticed like one out of like four out of five had parasites. I think you're good. No, I'm like yeah. rambling on about the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get involved with Global Brigades? Well, actually, I was, um, I came one time as a volunteer, as interpreter, and then I graduated from pharmacy school. <laughs> well, what's your favorite part of being on the brigades? Uh, when I help people, and they're very grateful because one of the challenges is like, uh, have all everything prepared for the, for the brigades. We have to know that we have everything that we need. Well, love can do. Love. Thank you for speaking with us. This is her third time um, coming to the brigade. Ask her how does she like the treatment or the excellent treatment. Does she see any other doctors besides the Global Brigade? Um otra vez va a otros doctores o siempre a los doctores que mire hoy miro los mismos de tratar pero si miro miro otro pues ya sí sí lo de sí y dónde queda la, la clínica más cerca de, de acá en la vieja Francia y dónde queda Ah, it's about two hours. It's about Yeah, so if they are here, then same place. It's like a two-hour walk okay. to the other. Do you have a car? No, no. Yeah, she doesn't have a car, so. <laughs> Can you ask her if she comes back with the same symptoms all the time? Yeah, I think she has the same symptoms. I think that I do. So the kids, you know, it kind of varies what they have, but she normally comes back with the same one. And what are the symptoms that you have? They have a migraine. I always take medicine. She suffers from migraines a lot. She always doesn't get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is all.